And there are the skaters. The top six, based on their points, will be in the first row. Ready. And they're on their way. 16 laps in the mass start. The first lap, a pace lap. There's no acceleration, no passing allowed. After that first lap, the starter will shoot the gun again, and then passing and accelerations are allowed from that point on. And the race is on as the gun sounds for a second time. And you've probably already noticed that the blue ice, which is normally a practice la or practice oval, is in play here. You can use the uh, the blue part of the track if you like. One thing people ask, they say, well, was well, that a big deal if you're skating on the blue lane? And you think, well, no, they, they warm up. The skaters warm up on the blue lane during practice and training throughout the year. They're, they're comfortable being on the lane. But the truth of the matter is, speed skater skates are set up very specifically for the size of the turns that you race on. So you race on that, what we call the inner lane is now looks like the, the middle lane here. But what that means is the skates have a rock. They have a bend. So they've actually bend the skates into the corner. They have a rock on the bottom of the skates. And they're set up so that if you were to just lean against the corner, you would go perfectly around the inner lane. Well, now they're trying to go even closer. So that means the skates aren't quite set up well enough. Or if they do change their skates, they have to adjust to different blades. So it's just one of the many factors that skaters are trying to figure out at this very new uh, Olympic race. Hannah Bosman and Sarah Racklau are out there by themselves. And they're in that pack, led by Heather Bergsma. There are Bosman and Recklau. Both of those skaters, not enough points mathematically to even make it onto the team. But we do hear our first sprint lap. That means that the next time around, these skaters, whoever crosses the line, first, second, third, they'll get some points that contribute to the overall finish of this race. Two laps to go. That's Erin Bartlett trying to make a move right here. She has to try and make a move right here. It's the only way she has even a shot of making it onto the Olympic team. Look at the third place on your screen in this pack. That's Mia Manganello. She knows how many points she needs. She's just hanging out. She's tucked right in there behind Heather Bergsma. She and her coaches know how many points she needs to make it onto the squad. They are going to be very careful with how she finishes up, and she looks very strong. There's the bell for Maria Lamb, who is the leader by herself. Well, Maria Lamb is going to take this race and the overall race today. However, it's the sum total of the three races. They started their quest for Pyeongchang way back in October at the first World Cup trials for the United States. And there's the bell for the chase pack as Lamb comes to the finish line to win the race. Maria Lamb will win. Well, brave race for Maria Lamb. She is celebrating. She is a multiple time Olympian. And here comes the battle for second and third in this race as they cross the line. Bergsma and Manganello, who were one, two coming in, finish second and third, assuring their spots on the U.S. Olympic team in mass start.